So for those of us that are new to the podcast or apparently new to the planet and don't know who the Gottman Method is, tell us a little bit about it. You know, why are John and Julie so important to the world of couples therapy? Because they are one of the top 10, like very prominent reasons that we even have couples therapy as a, as a theory these days that's helpful to clients. Talk about it a little bit. Uh, yes, John uh, has done research on couples, I think, for about 50 years now, um, and he actually studied couples who were healthy as well as couples who were uh, really struggling. So, you know, before he did this research, we kind of thought that, um, you know, that our whole reason and, and basis of doing couples therapy was based on couples who were not healthy, right? Um, they were in crisis, they were struggling. And so we really didn't know what healthy relationships looked like. We just thought they looked like the opposite of the relationships that came into our offices. Uh, and in fact, that's not true. So that's pretty exciting. Um, and in some ways, there's not a whole lot of differences between couples who are healthy and couples who are struggling. Um, they all miscommunicate. They all have conflict. Um, so there are some key differences. And John learned what those differences were. Uh, in part, um, the healthy couples repaired. Mm. And they repaired quickly. And so they they knew the importance of repair and they also knew how to let the repairs be effective. Mm. So they repaired often and quickly. So they didn't let things build up and fester and things like that. Um, but they still had basically about the same amount of miscommunication. So, so what I'm hearing you say then is what you found out is that conflict was normal. It didn't mean that there was dysfunction happening in the relationship, but the masters of relationships, as we like to call them, right, in the Gottman method who are accidentally doing it well, they felt this urgency or this need or this, it was important to them to not let it stay there. They weren't avoiding it. They weren't, you know, stonewalling with each other. They were getting in there and figuring out how to manage it. And they may not have always done it perfectly, but the desire was there. Right. That's correct. And so, so you took the techniques at the Institute that they were doing very well, right? These little unicorns of the world who accidentally had these wonderful relationships and you turned them into a couple's therapy, but you didn't yeah. just stop there, right? Well, actually, Julie Gottman is the one that did that. Okay. So an interesting thing, if it weren't for Julie Gottman, we would have probably never heard of John Gottman. Mm. Uh, because John was a researcher. Uh, he didn't help couples. Uh, he just studied them. And Julie was a clinical psychologist, and she was really interested in helping people. So Julie said, why don't we take these findings of yours and uh, use them to help people? It took some convincing for John to do that, because the best predictor of getting a divorce was going to couples therapy. <laughs> you know, and it's like, well, they're in trouble in the first place. Right, right, right. A lot of times therapists, while we are very compassionate, we may not understand what to do with a couple in the in the room. Absolutely. How to help them. Uh, so um, so Julie and and John together came up with these interventions to actually help couples, uh, help them have more productive conversations, help them to have the difficult conversations that they needed to have, right? So they provided kind of a, a semi-structure for them, um, guidelines for them to kind of keep them on track, uh, to repair relationships, to talk about their ongoing differences. Uh, they also uh, helped them learn how to tune back into each other, uh, to be more emotionally connected, uh, to rebuild connection, right? And deepen the connections when they have them. 